so this is the <laughs> entry to my room my beauty room tour some of you guys have asked for this so i decided to make a beauty room tour this is what it looks like from the doorway it's a fairly small room i can't say it's too big it's pretty small let me shut the door so when you first walk in i mean the first thing you really see is my chair and my chandelier Looking light. And then my carpet. This carpet I got off of Amazon. It was, I mean, it had to be like 50, 50 bucks. I chose gray because I have these gray walls and I'm kind of going off of that. I really want the color scheme to be gray and more like the orange tones. So I'm actually gonna get new curtains. But right now, this is what I have, so let's just go with it. Can you turn to your left, and I have this big mirror. This mirror I got at a random furniture store. It was, but it still had a Home Goods sticker on it, so it's from Home Goods. I got it for like 80 bucks, because it was a discounted furniture store. And then to the right of that is my bookshelf. So I have this Tokidoki sign that when I worked at Sephora, when they would throw stuff out, you were allowed to take it. So I took that Tokidoki sign. And then this bookshelf I got, I think like it was a garage sale actually. And I just, and I painted it white. So I got the bookshelf for like 10 bucks, just painted it. And it's kind of janky. It's like falling apart. So it's leaning on the wall, but it works. So on my bookshelf, let's see, I have some of my favorite books. This little guy I got at the thrift store. I made that, isn't that cute? I love it, I wanna make more. And then these are the fake candles that you can turn on, they light up but the batteries die, so they're not on. Down here we got, so I have some boxes that I've saved and then a vase. That I wanna put on the table, I just need to get some flowers and whatnot. These I just got from Benefit. They are empty squares that you could put stuff in. So I hid like a bunch of junk in there. And on the bottom is my hair products. I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> my extensions are over there and that's my set kit over there. And I try to hide it, you know, so it doesn't look super cheesy. Then we have the curtain, which I'm going to I think I wanna get like a burnt orange shade is what I wanna do. Then we'll move over. We got the famous sparkly jacket. This I got off of boohoo.com. Um, I put it on here cause it's pretty and I just don't have a reason to wear it. So I keep it on her. Then we have this chair with the Makeup Forever pillow. So this chair also garage sale, 20 bucks. My mom said that she was going to help me uh, refurbish it or cover it with a different fabric just because it's super dingy looking. And then the Makeup Forever pillow, I may or may not have taken from a Makeup Forever event. I was given permission, so there's that. Then we have the paintings on the wall. So all these paintings I did, um, the lipstick, the fake little Chanel one, and the bottle blonde. And then we have this chandelier piece. Is it a chandelier? What do you call this? So this I also got at the furniture store where I got the mirror and it was discounted. So I got it for a hundred bucks, which is a lot, but at the same time, it's not. <laughs> I think it's really pretty. I've always wanted one of these. So, and it's something that I'll have for a long time. That was my excuse. Then behind the chandelier piece, um, I have the framed brushes I got from Makeup Forever. So these are brushes. They have my name on it, engraved, and I just super glued them into a shadow box. I thought it was cute. They're too cute to use. So I decided to frame them and hang them. And then the, they're not butterflies. What are these called? Male butterflies, monarchs. Hung those, pretty. Virgin Mary, I painted that. A long, long time ago. Everyone's been wondering where Frankie went. He's just right over here to the left of my vanity so you can't see him in the camera. And then below that I have my little coffee table or end table. 
So on it I have this little skull that I got from Daiso or Daiso, I don't know how to pronounce it. And then I also got the cat from Daiso, Daiso. Jack Daniels bottle with some fake flowers in it. I thought that was really cute. <laughs> then we have sunglasses in a case. So this case I got at Home Goods pulls out. You can have all your glasses in there, you know. And then I have some magazines. This is my daily planner for the year. I got this at TJ Maxx, and then I just bought this one, the Master Plan. It's also a planner. I got it at TJ Maxx. It's for next year. It's crazy to think that, like, it's already next year. So, I think it's cute, though. TJ Maxx. They have the best planners. That's where I got this one. Did I say that? I don't know. Got my girl, Oprah. Then to the right is my vanity. This is where I sit, I get ready, and I film. So I have the Alex drawers from Ikea. I mean, they work best and they're not that expensive. So, I mean, that's why a lot of, I feel like a lot of people have them. Um, I have this on top. So this is also one of the sunglass holders, uh, but I just put my lip glosses in there. And then I have this that I got at Home Goods. I got this at Home Goods too. I don't know if I told you. I got this that I got at Home Goods as well. It's for all my lipsticks. And then behind it is some junk. And then we have my makeup drawers, which is filled with nonsense upon nonsense upon nonsense upon. Then we enter the actual vanity area. So I, I always have like Family Guy or the Chelsea Handler show playing on my iPad when I get ready, especially. This tray I got at Home Goods. I put all of my sprays on there. Q-tips, sunscreen, deodorant, alcohol, sponges, blah, 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 every, everything. I have so much. I really don't need any more, but I keep buying more. I have my Sephora bag back there, which holds like receipts. I have receipts in there. Then I have this little bin that I got, Daiso as well, Daiso. I put like dirty brushes in here, so I set my really dirty brushes aside. That way I know which ones are dirty and need to be washed. And then like end of the week, hopefully I wash them. Sometimes I don't, but they're there, so I know not to use them. And then I have this guy, which I got at Home Goods. I'm not sure what it was technically for. I think like pens and papers. Oops, what was that? It has the glass on the front of it, but I put all my eyeliners and lip liners. So I got lip liners, up here is liquid liners, scissors, and then eyeliners. I, again, I think it was for like, I'm not even sure, but I got it at Home Goods, and it works, and I like it so much. I have this mirror, which I got off of Amazon when I need to do like close-up, you know, when you need to do the close-up sessions on your face. I have my vanity mirror, which a lot of the light bulbs, they look like they're dead, but they're not dead. I just turned them off because it gets extremely hot in my room. Um, that's why my camera is always overheating. The light bulbs, um, I just recently bought some other ones and they're not supposed to be as hot, but they're super yellow. And now I'm just frustrated looking for the right light bulbs. Very difficult. Hi. Over here we have a calendar with puppies on it because puppies make me happy. A moon that lights up, but I think the batteries are dead so it doesn't light up right now. When uh, me and Fern first started dating, he got me one of these for Christmas. So it's special to me. Then we have underneath that uh, some brushes. I have a lot of brushes, I will admit. I think I have a problem. And then these I got at Home Goods as well. They match that liner thing that I got. But I put like my favorite, my favorite, I put my foundations in here. So I, I just, it's easy to grab. I'm not sure why, why I thought I needed this, but I like it. And then I have a smaller one, which I got at Home Goods as well, for concealer. So I can just kind of grab them. They're right here. They're not far from me. So I can easily grab them. Then I have another Alex drawer right next to the vanity, which has more brushes. I know, I have a lot of brushes. And Windex. <laughs> and then my favorite brush cleaner. 
These Alex drawers are just filled again with stuff upon stuff upon stuff. This little chair we uh, found at the thrift store. I mean, as you can tell, like everything in here is from the thrift store or like I got at a lower price. I don't like paying full price for anything. Well, except for the Alex drawers, those I put paid normal price for. All the wires over there just hanging. And then to the right of that is my spice rack. So this is just a normal spice rack that I put nail polish in. I hung it on the wall, put all my nail polishes in here. I'm not the best at painting my nails, but I like nail polish, it's pretty. And then we're back to my door with Betty Page on it. I just wanted my room to inspire me and make me happy. So that's what this room is. I wanted it to be like an art room because that's where you always feel the, well, I feel the most inspiration. So I wanted my makeup room to be somewhere I can come, be inspired and feel at home. And I feel like since I painted the walls, I truly, I love my room so much more. Before it was just not me. It was white and ugly and blech. So finally my room feels like my room. I love it. Pretty simple. It's very small, like I said. I Glad I didn't go with white walls because I was originally going to do white walls, you know, like the typical beauty room. But I'm glad I picked gray and I'm glad I went with what I wanted because it's just, I love it. I just need a new curtain and then we'll be set. I hope you like my room as much as I do and let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Make good choices. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.